Hey, Blizzard fans, Ryan Hobson, Director of Sales, back for another Green Bay Blizzard Partner Profile. And I am joined by Kathy Trinkler, Blizzard owner. Got it that time. Hi, Kathy. And Good Dr. Job. Patrick Frayne from Frame Family Chiropractic. How are you doing, Doc? I am wonderful. Thank you for having me. Glad to be here. Good to see you, Kathy and Ryan. I don't think nice I've ever you. given you the have Doc a treatment in the, time, in the six years yeah. I've known you. I took yeah. this internet opportunity to say, hey, Doc. <laughs> hey, Doc, what's up, Doc? There's a lot up. There's, there's a lot up. You know, foot, football is, is not up right now, so we get to learn about each other, and that's a good <laughs> way to be up and be positive right now. So that's all right. That's fair. Yeah, we here. have a Doc. Yeah. We get to hear the official Doc side of things, yeah. Nice. That's right. That's right. Well, Blizzard fans, um, those of you guys that have been around long before, Kathy and I actually will recognize um, this gentleman uh, and probably plenty of things about Frank Chiropractic from over the years. They've been a Blizzard partner um, since the dawn of time, <laughs> so when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Um, He's not that old. <laughs> um, so we're, we're excited, and thank you, Dr. Patrick, for taking the time. Did I lose it? You freeze? No. No, nope, we're did. good. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> These never go as planned, so we'll have some fun. So the, the um, freeze, that was a dance team early on in the Blizzard history. The freeze that's dance true. team. That's true. It was like a flashback. We set up the question. That was planned. Um, so we'll jump right in. So why don't you tell us um, a little bit about Frame Family Chiropractic, how you got started, um, and just how many years with the Blizzard, and just that quick backstory. Yeah, absolutely. Well, no, we do appreciate it. And it's been a wonderful uh, 17 seasons with the Blizzard. Uh, it's been, been a fantastic run, uh, consecutive. Uh, we've had so many different ownership groups. We have been part of the team with you guys uh, since game one, season one. Um, the way we got involved was we were a brand new practice in, in Green Bay, and the team was brand new at the same time. Um, we were at a Chamber of Commerce meeting, and the director of sales at that time was uh, at the same meeting as we were, and uh, they were explaining about the new team being here, and we're excited to launch Arena Football in Green Bay, and uh, we were excited to be part of our office. And uh, he had been under chiropractic care himself personally before, and uh, when the meeting was over, we, we talked. And he said, uh, he said, hey, he says, you know, chiropractic care is such a good fit for the hard hitting sport of arena football. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, would you guys like the opportunity to, uh, to see if we can make something work? And so we obviously said, yes, we're huge football fans. Um, I think it's a perfect fit for the office. I think if I had to pick a, a sport that I enjoy the most, it would be football. Um, you know, not that I haven't been offered hockey and baseball and other things over the years, but if you don't love the sport, it's hard to take care of the players. It's hard to take care of the team. Um, I, I think there's a benefit in, in knowing the game and knowing the rules and knowing what the athletes go through to be able to serve them. Um, and, and in another sport, I might not have that knowledge. So it was a great fit. So nine versions of the contract later, we, we got it done and we've never looked back. We've, we've never looked back. It's been great. I will say though, and I do mean this, that, that we have had 17 seasons. We've had a number of ownership groups that we've worked with with the team. Um, I think the fans have, have definitely seen ownership groups come through. Um, what, what Larry and Kathy, what you guys have brought to this franchise now is beyond what I've seen in, in all these years before you've arrived. Not that we haven't had good people before, um, but I think just the, the game day operations, what we're bringing to the fans, the game day experience, uh, it's, it goes beyond, for us working with the team, it goes beyond just adjusting players. Um, you know, this, it's fun. It's, it's a great way to go to work, you know, to, to see these athletes and work with them and learn about their backstories is great. And I love it. It's, it's, a, you know, it's just a great way to spend my day. Um, but, you know, to see the fans coming in, the interaction, the attendance, what it is now, uh, the promotions, the, the, the excitement on the kids, how we're bringing the children of the community into the, into the arena is huge. Um, it's a big part of our practice. You know, we are frame family chiropractic, so we do see families. Um, we're not just an athletic-based uh, office. So seeing families is a big part of what we do. So when you see those kids at the game, uh, you know, that's a natural transition for us because we see them in the office. So um, when our patients come in, our pediatric patients come in, they know it's a game day 
weekend. Uh, they know that it's coming up. It's a home game. And they're coming in, and they're excited because they're going to the game. Uh, it's you know we, we talk about it they love it they like waving to me down on the field and all that and I try spotting them up in the stands and, and it's just it, it's you know it's a family atmosphere you know so so the way you guys run the team for the fans is the same way we run our practice you know everybody knows everybody the season ticket holders become family right I mean everybody is sitting in the same spots and, and you look for that same family the next year when you're coming to get your season tickets, which is why I love season tickets so much because you get to know the people around you. Um, so it's the community feel of this is, is why we love it. It goes beyond just adjusting players. It's, it's, it's wonderful. So 17 seasons, you know, this is why we do it. Uh, we, we don't mind the time commitment for it because it's, it's not just a job, it's a passion. We, we just absolutely uh, look forward to it in, in every single way. So um, as far as the office goes, yeah, men, women, children, um, that's what we specialize in. A lot of athletes, a lot of dancers, uh, a lot of ice skaters, uh, volleyball players, um, and a lot, a lot, a lot of football players coming in. So I wish I had a number as to how many players I've, I've taken care <laughs> of over, over all the years. But I do know that over 17 seasons, my, my paper record uh, says that we've taken care of players that have been uh, played with 21 different NFL teams at some point, wow. whether they were on a, a, you know, a tryout with a team or on a practice squad, or they had some sort of a, a workout with them or whatever. Uh, 21 of the NFL teams represented over 17 seasons that guys have, have come from that league to our league. And uh, I think that's just really, really cool to get to know those guys and to learn, learn their backstories. As so well. after 17, 17 years, you've got to have some pretty memorable moments, you know. Oh, yeah. um, give us a couple key favorite Blizzard moments. And it doesn't have to be when we own the team. I mean, it could be right from the start or whatever. Right. But whether it's game day or a player or whatever. That's, that's a great question. It's a great question. I think there's, there's, there's many. Um, you know, I think that from a game day perspective, I think that game that – that we won, I, I wish I remembered the team, but the game that we won that launched us into the, uh, the Arena Cup was huge. There, there was this, this home game that we were playing, we had to win it, um, and to, to, to win that game and to see these players storm in the field like, like they had already won the Super Bowl, um, I remember one of, the, one of the players had one of those big like worldwide wrestling belts, and he was carrying this <laughs> belt, and he was, he was running through the field with it, standing on top of the dashers, and the, the the energy in that arena was just second to none. It was just absolutely second to none. And and that stands out to me a lot with, with just knowing that we had made it as far as we could make it to go. And that game, I believe, was, was played out of the country. It was played um, – oh, gosh, I'm trying to think where it was. Maybe it was down in Mexico, I believe yeah, it was Mexico. played, but in Mexico City. But to, to, earn, to earn the right to go to that game was huge. Um, so that was that was a big deal. I think one of the – I think one of the things that – the, on a daily game day experience that stands out to me is I truly enjoy the being on the field pregame um, yeah. with the national anthem, seeing the children's groups come out and singing the national anthem and, and having the flag presentations from the military out there every game without fail. Uh, it's special. I think it, it's, I, I, I like bringing my daughters out and having them with me. And I tell them, I said, you know, there's not many people in this world that get the opportunity uh, seven or eight times a year to stand on a professional football field and, and watch the presentation of the nation's colors, honor the, the veterans that are with us in the stadium, um, and, and to be a part of that with the, with the strobe lights and the, and the spotlights. Um, that's, that never gets old. That never, ever gets old. Uh, so I just, I just love that. I, I think that's I huge. would agree with you. Um, and then another... Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, I get teary-eyed every time we do it. When I see those guys walking and knowing that they're vets, that's a big deal. It's a really big deal. And, um, you know, my dad was in Vietnam, and I can appreciate, you know, someone being away or potentially not coming home. And some of the kids today haven't had to experience that, thank God. And, um, you know, we, we owe a lot to our vets. We really do. And, and I think, you know, the Blizzard organization just does a great job. There's the military appreciation nights as well, the special colored footballs. Everyone's hoping those go in the stand to take one of those home. Um, you know, it's, it's, 
the, the patriotism that's part of the arena is, is huge. Uh, so that's, that's a big deal. Um, but, you know, I can't, I, I, I got to say, one of the other things that was incredibly memorable for me was when the two of you surprised me with that incredible honor on the field a number of years ago, um, right after we were done doing the pregame care on the players. And, uh, and you, know, you know, hey, are we ready? Should we grab them? Let's go. And I didn't know what was going on. And, and to surprise me like that with that incredible framed B.J. Hill jersey with my name on the back of it instead of his, with the team all signing it, uh, how beautifully framed that was. It hangs in our office. and hangs right outside my adjusting room. Um, I, I have it in that spot because I see it every single patient I go in to work with every day. I see that jersey hanging there. And it's, it's a cherished item of mine. You know, I, I always say if something happened to me tomorrow, you know, at the funeral home, that's next to the casket, you know, on the stand. <laughs> because it's a cherished, it's a cherished item. Um, I, I, I can't believe that you guys did that, you know. And, and to stand there and to be recognized for all the years of service and the, and the wonderful comments that you had made, um, that was a defining life moment for me that, you know, I'll never have that again anywhere because, you know, where do you get the opportunity for someone to be recognized like that? Uh, it was, it was so wonderful. You guys to do that. I, I can't thank you enough for that. It was, it was, it was a fantastic memory of all my work with the team. So that was really, really cool. And my Good. dad was there at the game to, to see it. And, you know, he, he, uh, he had a lot of pride to see his son down there in the field like that. That was very special. That's cool. I'm, we're glad you appreciated that. When when Ryan and I were do, were talking about it, you know, it was like, what should we do? We need to do something special um, because you're someone special to us. And Ryan every time says, you know, these this sponsor is awesome, and this, you know, you truly have been with us literally from the beginning. So prior to even our ownership, and we really do appreciate it. You've been an integral part of the health of our players. Um, from day one, you're, you know, introduced to them right from the start of the season. Um, they get to know you. Some of them have had chiropractic, some haven't. Right. So I'm sure you do some training along the way. Oh, yeah. um, but it's, it's definitely helped to keep them happy. Yeah, for sure. I think, I think that aspect of, of, you know, working with the players, um, you know, obviously we do, we do the pregame care, you know, for fans that are listening to this and might not know, what do you do? Um, you know, we do pregame care uh, for all the home games. Um, that starts about three hours before the, uh, well, three to four hours before the kickoff. So we get players right off the street. They come in. We see about 90% of the team, you know, for that. Players get adjusted whether they have symptoms or not. You know, it's not that they're injured or they have back pain or something. They get adjusted for a performance um, enhancement, you know, for, for uh, balance, for alignment. Um, that's why we're taking care of the players to make sure that, you know, they're running downfield and they're making all their cuts with the, the most freely moving spines and pelvis as possible. Um, you'd be surprised. You, you balance a player's leg lengths and you get them even. That could be the difference between a tipped ball or an interception or getting down the field, you know, a half a yard quicker than the opponent. So it's very important. Um, all NFL teams have chiropractors. They all do pregame care. And so we're no different here with the blizzard. Um, so we're, we're proud of that. Um, we do halftime care. We do sideline care. We do injury care, obviously, during the games. Um, but we also do in-office care as well. So players come in during the week. They receive treatments. That is a little more injury-specific at times. Um, but then we also, a few years ago, started introducing weekly uh, practice facility care as well. And that has been well received by the team. Uh, about 75% of the players receive that care uh, every Tuesday when we're out at the sports emporium and, and we're adjusting players on site. Um, we work so seamlessly with Brooke and, and with Andy and with the medical staff, um, the orthopedic surgeons and the team physicians with Aurora. It, it's, we all work together. We're hand in hand. And so to be able to be there and to be working with those guys to keep them in the game um, and to keep them game ready is huge. Um, when, when people like Corey go out and they find these players that are gems and they polish them and they get them on our field to make us successful, if we can play a role in keeping them healthy and we can play a role in giving the fans the best experience to see those players that they paid to see come out and play, um, you know, that's, that's awesome. That's, we're happy to do that. So you, you've given us some great feel good experiences but you're behind the scenes so you're in the locker room you're near the bench or sometimes right at the bench 
Right. And I'm sure you've experienced some pretty intense moments, maybe some not friendly for kids ears moments. Um, <laughs> you got any good ones, you know, Dex yeah, freaking I, I out think... because somebody's helmet's missing or, you know, whatever. <laughs> There's always that. There's always that. And I've learned over the 17 seasons, you always stay away from the equipment managers when they're in the middle of the heat of battle because they know their <laughs> stuff. So stay out of their way. Uh, but, you know, there have been, we've had some, we've had a few gruesome injuries. Um, I, I remember one time we had a, a compound fracture, you know, right on the sidelines um, where, where it was, it was a bad break. It was a bad leg break. And uh, they're not pretty when those happen. And so obviously our orthopedic surgeons are in charge of that, but I play a, uh, an accessory role in that and kind of coordinate EMS coming and we each have our jobs with that and stabilization, bringing supplies out, things like that. Um, but I remember one of the players, you know, he, he saw this, he saw how bad it was. And there were kids in like rows one through three, right in front of this guy on the field. Yeah. And, and, you know, I give this player credit. He took his jersey off and he hung it right in front of like all these kids so that they would kind of not see the gruesomeness of what was going on. Yeah. Um, because, you know, that's the thing. It is a hard hitting sport. We, we, we fail to realize that. I've also learned over 17 seasons to, to get the heck out of the way when the players come flying over the dashboards. <laughs> you know, it's not just a, it's not just a, a, a man. But you got some 250 pound guy coming at you full speed, you know, with pads, with everything. And then it's that it's that motion of flipping over that their legs, their feet are coming. Uh, you got to watch out for, you know, for things like that. So but those can get concerning, too. And we are there and you got to worry about a neck injury or things along yeah. those lines as they go down. It's, it is concrete on the other side of that wall. Um, you know, we've, we've brought more than a few backboards out on the field, you know, over the years to take people off by by ambulances and things like that. So God bless Ashwaben on public safety for their help with that. Um, but again, we all work together on these things. And, uh, uh, you know, we had one game, actually, I don't know if you guys remember this, but we had a game that we played in the Brown County Arena, which is now no longer. We had a game we played over there. And uh, it was several seasons ago, because the Rush Center wasn't available, we had to play our home game. And mm -hmm. it, the air conditioning was out. Oh boy. And it was hotter than hot over there. And, and we had players, we had players dropping like flies with dehydration. And that was an all hands on deck locker room. We had people, the fans were, you know, not aware of maybe what was going on. But at one point, I remember Dr. Kaiser, myself, uh, Angie was our trainer at the time. We were all do. we had ice packs, there were IV bags, there were, there were uh, cold compressed towels. We had seven or eight players literally passed out on the floor that we were trying to, you know, make sure we're, we're getting rehydrated and, and being okay at once uh, while the game was going on because it was just so hot back there. So that was, uh, it wasn't gruesome, but it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't pretty. An adventure. It That's, wasn't pretty. It wasn't, Not at all. It wasn't pretty. Not at all. No, no. Ryan, you got a question for, I've been kind of monopolizing everything. No, you yeah, that's, huh? I, I teed it up that way. I, I, doctor knows and fans know. I mean, and I, I see Fran on a regular basis, so I could have probably interviewed myself on his behalf <laughs> for the Zoom video. So, You're more um, handsome than I am. You could have. So I let you intentionally so just run so, the question. Just so everybody knows. Just so everybody knows, Ryan does prepare a mini script for every single one of these. <laughs> and this one, he actually has one of the questions. It just says Ryan. Like it's going to be Ryan's <laughs> moment for the next, you know, <laughs> I 10 the minutes. Opportunity so we're just going to gonna, we're just gonna listen to Ryan. Go ahead, Ryan. What do you want to tell us? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, I a typo. am not good at typing. It's just common for him. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I do have a question, but I, I do have a, I do have a Dr. Frain moment as well. So there was a win by two or three seasons ago, and your husband yanked Dr. Frain, Frain and I into the locker room after the game, <laughs> and we had, <laughs> we had an adult beverage that I probably wouldn't remember the name of, but it it tasted like gasoline. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I did both of Larry stayed in the locker room. Both Dr. Frain and I walked out and were like, what was that? <laughs> don't, don't know. Don't know. The, the, the liver is still processing it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Dr. Frain, where, uh, again, I could answer a lot of these, but just so fans know um, what, 
in particular are you and your staff doing in the midst of the pandemic? Um, people who are looking for treatment, should they be aware of any certain modified hours? Where can they find out information? I'll drop the link for Facebook and sure. your website on here. But anything? Sure, we appreciate that. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're open. We're, we're open for business business we're essential so so we've been open we've been open to serve everybody um, we are the only thing that's different in our office hours until everything gets officially reopened by the state order is the only thing is we're closed Tuesdays um, we've, we've decided that Tuesday is the day we close the office we do a deep cleaning and a deep sanitization of all of our equipment um, we have hospital grade cleaners and sterilization procedures that we're going through with all the touch points and all of the uh, contact points on the tables, the door handles. Um, it's all hands on deck there. All the staff participates. We do everything from, you know, vacuuming, dusting, cleaning, getting refilling the sanitizers. So Tuesdays has been closed. But once this the pandemic order is, is open, then we're back to Tuesdays. Otherwise, we're 8 until 6 uh, daily, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, um, Monday through Friday. Um, you can call the call the office. Uh, you know, log on to the website. There's always a promotional uh, opportunity for someone to come in and uh, you know receive an exam at a, at a discounted cost. If, if you know you just want to meet us, or consultations are always free. Um, I think those those are always the best way to meet somebody. So if any of the fans out there um, like what they see, they like the you know the Frame Family Chiropractic first downs, and they're thinking one of these days I got to call these guys. Um, no time better than the present. Uh, I will say that if you have something that's bugging you, putting it off uh, only makes the problem worse. So, you know, give us a call. Um, we can consult with you at no charge. Um, if we're the right resource for you, we are more than happy to make an appointment for you and get you an exam. And um, we'll use our technology to figure out how we can help. Um, if your case is not something that we can work with, we will make the appropriate referral uh, for you to make sure that you're seeing the right specialist. Um, chiropractors are, are primary care uh, physicians in the state of Wisconsin. So we're portal of entry. So we can make those referrals for someone if they need to get to someone, you can see us first and we can get you to where you need to be. But at the same time, I rarely have cases that we can't work with or co-manage. So sometimes it's working from a chiropractic and a medical or and a physical therapy perspective, we can, we can do that too. So. Um, it's it's no problem to take so care Dr. of this. Frank, sure, Dr. Frank, during this time, you know, everyone's talking now. To me, yeah, the virus is a serious point, but we should all be looking at our own health and how we can right. help our immune systems. And I know over the years, because I'm a firm believer in chiropractic, um, sometimes I wait a little too long to um, actually <laughs> go in, but I, I would assume and you correct me if I'm wrong, chiropractic helps with immunity as well. I mean, it gets your blood flow um, and, you know, everything in your body working the way that it should. Correct. Is that a true statement? It is. It's, it's, it's very true that chiropractic absolutely naturally boosts the immune system. Um, things like, you know, the immunoglobulins, IgG, IgA, uh, are released into the bloodstream when, when you receive the, the actual spinal adjustment. Um, and that does boost immune responses. So, you know, if anyone ever thinks that chiropractic care is just for a back pain or just for a symptom, they're kind of missing the big point of what we're there for. Because if you can keep the nervous system free of interference, then the brain can send all of its instructions properly down through your spinal cord, out through all the nerves to keep all the organs and tissues working the way they're supposed to work. And, and in those tissues, of course, is the entire immune system of the body so the nervous system controls every system so when you're when you're conceived what's formed first what's formed first is the nervous system and then the cardiovascular system forms off of the nervous system you know and and then all the digestive system the reproductive system you know and the immune system all form off of the nervous system so if we can keep that free of interference anybody has their best chance when they come in contact with any virus, you know, in general, which we're all exposed to hundreds of viruses a day, um, you have your best chance to fight that virus if your nervous system is working at peak performance. If you can combine that with getting rest, this is the best time to catch up on sleep when, when we have to be shut in. 
you know, no reason that we can't be getting that extra one to three hours of sleep that we don't get when we're in full work mode. Um, when you have to be quarantined, catch up on your sleep. Uh, eat well. This is a great time to be making healthy eating choices. That also boosts the immune response in the body. Uh, junk in, junk out. Mm -hmm. Healthy foods in, healthy foods out. So that's another terrific way. And at the same time, I think getting that kind of that play 60 concept, getting outside, getting that fresh air, taking those walks, obviously it's great for your bone health and your joint health to keep your body functioning well. But also a lot of research coming out is showing that this COVID is responding very, very well to that vitamin D exposure. So being outside, getting that sunlight, right, these are all things that are really important. And if you look at it, you gotta look at it like a wheel, a wellness wheel, and there's many cogs on that wheel. So it's not just getting adjusted, but it's also eating well, sleeping well, having good mental health. You know, if someone's online right now and they're on social media and they're watching this, it's a great diversion from the negativity of woe is me, what's gonna happen, here's all the statistics. So keeping that mental health, finding some comedy. You know, I always say before bed, doctor's advice is before bed. You pick the favorite 30 minute sitcom that you like. That's what you have to watch before you go to bed. It's good for your mental health. Um, and, and it's those sorts of things that I think all help with that immune, immune response in the body to help fight this. Well, we, we thank you for taking some time with us tonight. Um, really appreciate everything that you've done for the blizzard, the, the partnership, the family. Not only is it Frayne family, but you're part of the, the blizzard family just in general. And, and we really appreciate everything that you do for us, for the players, even for us personally. Um, we're both customers, Ryan and I, I know I haven't seen you in a while, um, but yeah, I need to. All right. Um, and usually what we do, usually what we do when we're wrapping these up is we ask, you know, not only what, what have you been doing, but more importantly, what kind of words of wisdom do you have? And being a doctor, we just talked about the immune system, but you know, what kind of wisdom or thoughts could you share beyond what you've already shared to give as tips or just kind words to everyone that's out there listening. In, in chiropractic, the gentleman that really developed our profession, uh, BJ Palmer, always said, you never know how far reaching something that you think, say, or do today may affect countless lives of millions tomorrow. And I always live by that because it's the things we do think or say today that are affecting all the lives of tomorrow. In addition to that, I was told the best piece of advice that I was ever given, week one of chiropractic school, our president came into an auditorium and he said a few simple words, you get to choose, period. You get to choose. You get to choose how you act, you get to choose how you react, you get to choose how you handle things, you get to choose how to make the best of a situation. If something comes your way that's not ideal, you get to choose how you handle it with your family or your kids how you act, how you react. And, and I think that is so important that we feel sometimes like we're trapped in a situation. We feel like we're told we have to quarantine. People struggle with being feeling like I'm an adult, but now I've got big brother or a parent or a government telling me what to do. And maybe those things are true, but at the same time, we can choose for ourselves how we behave in the situation and what we do with it. So we're really, we have the freedom of choice for ourselves and, and the what we read, what we choose to fill our brains with, and then how we take that, the role modeling of how we do that for our children and for our neighbors and our communities. Um, maybe a neighbor is not so savvy to be able to handle the things that way, but maybe the neighbor's kids see you handling things that way and you become that mentor for that child. Because your kids today are going to grow up and they're going to be like you. And so if you can be that positive influence on them, especially during a time like this, you get to choose. That's it. You know, and if you make the right choices, which are free, by the way, it costs nothing to smile. It's easier. <laughs> by the way, it uses less muscles to smile yes. than to frown. So, you know, it's free. <laughs> if you're broke, you can still smile. You can still have a kind word for someone. Mm -hmm. and, and you can help out. Um, you can donate your time, you know, even if you don't have money, you can donate your time. And so I think those are the things that, you know, anyone that's watching this, 
if, if they can take a little piece of that, you know, to me, we get through this and we'd only, we'd only come through all this, but we come out of it even better than we've ever been. And, and a new version of ourselves. They keep talking about this new normal. I don't know if I like that. I want to go back to normal, but I think we can all be a better version of ourselves, you know, and, and that they're not wrong with that. I think for me to be a better version of myself, I need a haircut. So just saying, <laughs> can't wait till that happens because this whole Bob mullet thing I got going on is just driving me nuts. But I don't think that's what you meant, but I'm just saying. Um, so I appreciate that. And I think those are great words of wisdom um, for everyone to, to really adhere to and to consider, you know, it, it's truly that count to three before this get, you know, this might have engaged, but count right. before this one does. And I never make it to 10. So I use three as mine because I think 10 doesn't, it takes a long. Just, I can't count just to have 10. To take charge. <laughs> well, yes, that's also true. You, you just have to take charge of your health. You know, you just can't put things off and there's mental health and there's physical health. And it's always this thing of I'll wait till tomorrow, but your health can't wait, whether that's your mental health or your physical health or your spinal health. You know, you got one shot at how to handle this. And so you just can't put things off till tomorrow. Procrastination is the killer of dreams, but it's also the killer of your health. So you just, you know, you don't want to be that person that says tomorrow, tomorrow, and then all of a sudden it's a bigger issue to tackle. So absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate your time, Ryan. Do you have anything else before we bug off here? No, I, I feel like I stared at you too for a lot, a lot of this video and that's okay. Um, um, Blizzard fans, were, these two people on this video. These two on this video have been my support system over the years. I've talked to Fran in the office. I talk to Kathy daily. Um, so we do a lot of these things, but these are two great people that have been taking time amongst running their businesses to talk to people during these partner business, these profiles. So now I, I got nothing besides thank you guys, both of you. Um, I've talked to you while getting adjusted, Dr. Fran, Kathy, numerous phone calls or movies. So I think your words of wisdom apply tenfold uh, as a friend personally and to anybody that's been watching these. So I got nothing besides a thank you. It's a, it's a great, it's a great friendship. I agree. You know, it is a partnership, but it's the friendships that I have with you guys and, and Larry and, and the whole support staff, the front office staff. Um, that means more to me than, than the, the business arrangement itself, which, you know, which is the necessary side of things, but being here and having you guys in my, social circle means means more to us as an office and means more to me personally than uh, than really than, than anything that has to do with my you know blizzard shirt on here you know it's it, it's just it's very special it's very very special it's so we, this is a I, good time to tell you that i sold your two dasher boards and you don't have them next year <laughs> oh. well unfortunately Fortunately, those appointments are filling up. <laughs> well, we'll get you, in next it, month. you know, we'll find something else. We'll find something else. You know, maybe it's That's maybe right. it's the net that catches the the field goals. You know, there you go. There you go. There's nice. always a solution. Yeah. <laughs> I got Absolutely. nothing. So thank you for taking time. Um, Blizzard fans, as always, I'll drop the links in so you can learn more and click on and find frame and schedule a free consultation. Um, thank you as always. Go Blizz. Go Blizz. You got it. Let's have a great season next year. <laughs>